But first, it was a night of severe weather and warnings across central Florida. This picture showing what appears to be a funnel cloud in Lake County. Despite several warnings, there have been no serious reports of major damage. We do have another chance of severe storms later today, though, so let's get right over to meteorologist Troy Bridges with the very latest. Yeah, we had a lot of rotating storms last night that did not turn into tornadoes, which is good news. You know, they can drop a tornado in a matter of seconds. Here's what we're pinpointing today. The same system that brought all that severe weather with that area of low pressure from Memphis to Atlanta, pulling moisture from the Gulf of Mexico right into central Florida. We've pushed all that rain and those storms from last night away, and now we wait for the next bit of rain and storms around that same area of low pressure. We are dry as we show you downtown Orlando. 66 is the temperature from that view right now. It's 65 in Sanford, 68 in Cocoa Beach. We're going to warm to a high of 80 degrees today, close to that all over central Florida, and then we see some rain chances at 40% this afternoon, and embedded there will be a chance for a couple of stronger storms. 